the fifth one I've got literally just onboarding here. Uh, didn't write anything else. That's fine. Um, so this was a big um, win for us uh, in, in the, on, so the onboarding module within My Recruitment Plus. So it saved a lot of time for us in, in terms of for the HR, HR team, the payroll team and our hiring managers. So it was a win for everyone. Um, and the way we have that set up, and this might be a good one for Cassie to show us if you've got one. Thank you. Awesome. So in, these, um, in the onboarding pack, uh, we include things like contract, um, so you can see it here. Um, contract, we've got a video that is a welcome video, um, code of conduct, so a few HR policies that we require our new employees to complete, and then our payroll documents, so superannuation, tax file number declaration, and I think there's a couple of others. By the way, example. this is not your real... No, yeah. Because, for, like, privacy, <laughs> for, for privacy it's reasons, we just uh, we used one of our sample packs and we put your uh logo on top of it That's just so good. you know so you're welcome to explain your own items in the yeah. package um and i guess additional, additionally to this we also include things like our salary packaging information we want our new employees to be aware of what benefits we offer um, from the get-go so it's it's a good place to include things like that um and what what happens with this is the only thing that needs to be um, edited before it can be released is the contract. So there might be things that need fields that need to be populated when um, generating a contract. Mm. Let me go backwards. Sorry. Yep. We have about 20 different contracts. So one's under our help at home brand, one one's under our main company, and then um, one's under our Marubra campuses mm -hmm. branding. Mm -hmm. um, and within those areas, then there's a number of different, um, you know, capacities that someone could be employed sure. so full-time part-time sure. sure you know a lot of term, yeah. whatever it may be so we've set up packs for each of those different ways that someone can be employed so if we're bringing on a casual for one of our care units at Ramwick we'll click on the casual Montefiore pack that will bring this up we edit whatever needs to be edited in the contract so at the moment it's things like uh, maybe the manager's name if you need to include that yep. um, it might be that um, something hasn't come through, like I'm trying to think of what I use. Oh, so clauses. So some the, roles. The, ma the manager's name, that could be potentially. Title. Manager's title. A title. Okay. That potentially, um, I'm doing a criticism now. I'm okay. going to I'm gonna Go get in it. trouble. Um, <laughs> that could have been something you capture at the requisition form. The manager themselves can maybe enter that information and that comes through straight so you don't have to enter it in so the, the contract. So the bottom could... of the contract, it does come through, but in our, um, in our contracts, in the first sort of paragraph of our contract, we say something like, uh, in this position, you will be reporting to... Yeah, and the field that I'm filling in is whatever's going in that part. Yeah, that could have been automated to come through. But from... we like to, um, t we like to be able to type it in in case sure. for whatever reason sure. they're reporting to a different sure. title or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it it's editable, but it's, it can yeah, flow through. Yeah, yeah, sure. It can it can be adjusted, but cool. that's sort of how and when you set up at the moment. When you say editing, uh, just for clarity, are you really editing? In, in, in a Word document where it's a zoo and you could be making an error, delete some bikes? Or no, it's, it's just... What's kind of editing? It's basically on one side of the screen is where your fields are and you might just have a skim over them and make sure you're happy with it all. The other side is what the contract's going to look like. So as you change things, you just click refresh and your contract... So you're only updated. working with drop downs and text fields and stuff. Yeah, you're, you're not, not actually gouging. In, yeah, no, got it. So no. there's so much less risk of getting yeah. things right. Yep. And so um, we have set up a few clauses which can change depending on um, the position that we're issuing okay. the contract for. So some of our positions require a uniform, some of them don't, some of them require a laundry allowance, some of them don't. Hmm. So we, we need to be able to edit that depending yep. on what um, the role is. Yep. So that's something that we do at this point. So there's maybe three or four that we would usually um, adjust or, or select. Yep for a better word. Yep. Um, and then you basically click approve and sign. So we choose to get our hiring managers to sign the contract before it goes Internally. to the okay. candidate. Um, so once I select who the manager is, which would be recognized because because all of our managers are set up in the system, yep. um, the contract is sent to them and they sign digitally mm -hmm. um, and it, an email notification comes back to the HR team to let us know mm -hmm. the manager signed and we can release the pack to the candidate. Fantastic. When we release that pack, we can set an expiry date. So say, for example, we know the employee is starting in five days. 
we need to ensure that we have all their documents back by then. We can let we can set that expiry date to in four days. Um, what does that mean when you set expiry date? What does uh, that so mean? So there's an option to set uh, however many days. Sure. What, for what's the if? The so documents. from the candidate point of view, what's the effect of that? What does that mean? It means they get prompted? They yeah, yeah, they will be told that they have this many days and then when they get to, I mean, you'll have to help me out with this, but when they get to however many days, um, they'll get a reminder via email. Yep. And then um, the day before they'll get another reminder. I think yep. But it means they get cut off like after the yes, year. Yes, then they won't be able to access they or it. they won't be able to edit. Yeah, the, yeah. Um, the so they can't, for example, sign the contract after that. That's right. So there's a real uh, reason or an incentive for them clearly why they want to hurry up and get it done. That's right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. Excellent. Um, um, yep. And then just on that, we've also set up in that onboarding phase a few automations that are important for us. So when someone is sent an onboarding pack, a notification, an email notification is gone to a, goes to our IT team to set them up with an email address and access to whatever systems are required. Okay. So the IT team will receive all the information they need, so where the person will be working, their full name, mm -hmm. all that sort of stuff. Um, and then three days after IT get that email, there's another automation for our learning and development team to mm -hmm. receive notification mm -hmm. to uh, set them up in our learning management system. So okay. we use Bridge, um, Altura, and yeah, so our learning and de development um, administrator can set them up in the learning management system for their managed okay. training, which is required to be completed by the new starter sort of yep. in their first few days of employment. We, we've begun to do integrations with learning management systems as well. So oh, potentially great. we can talk to you in the future, see if we can help you with that yeah, to sure. make it also automated, the provisioning of the candidate in the learning management system, as well as triggering to them automatically the right content. Mm -hmm. uh, we already have a partnership with Go One. Okay. Um, that does all that. And so we should maybe put us in touch with uh, mm -hmm. um, your friends at uh, what's Altura. Oh, right. Altura. Yeah. Cool. So maybe we can help you to even automate this further. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That'd be great. Um, and then, yeah. So I guess last sort of um, part is the uh, getting the data across to our payroll system. Okay. Um, so integration between my recruitment plus and yeah that's the last point i've got here yeah so that was a manual data entry to remind us a little bit how yeah. it was to enter so that's the new hire once they've completed all the onboarding pack literally you know signed the contract now everything they are a new employee now they need to be entered into the payroll system mm -hmm. and that was off the paper or off some emails and stuff entered manually yes and what happens now um, so instead, our HR team uh, basically press a button that says transfer through uh, to payroll system. Yep. Um, and then a, a form will come up uh, with all the fields that we've we've customized. So mm -hmm. uh, I spent some time with our payroll team and with Pav from um, the Microcrimin Plus team. Mm -hmm. um, to Hold on, I helped as well. You did. Nicola, come on, you did, but give I me some to, credit. I have to give kudos to Pav because he's my partner in crime. Okay, um, love it. And he, uh, so what we did was we worked on exactly what we wanted to be able to push through. Um, so there were some fields that could have been pushed through um, in, in the integration, but our pay payroll team decided that at this stage, they would still do some fields manually. So there's a, a whole list of fields that um, have been set up. Uh, we review those fields to make sure that everything looks okay. Um, and then we push it through and yep. it's basically put into a holding folder that, that that's then um, retrieved by Chris21. The schedules throughout the day that pick up those files Got it. and input them into Chris21. Got, Got it. Roughly, would you be able to, if you're comfortable to share, what would you say to enter one of those records in Chris21? 20, 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour? Now? The Before, manual, yeah. I think, and I could be underselling it, but I'm sure it's at least a couple of hours for a new starter to enter all that information into by hand and, and now and pretty now, much like five minutes okay if there's any data that needs to be slightly manipulated if otherwise pretty much seconds yeah. or something cool yeah. automatically really yeah that's right okay very good